What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Call of Duty Ghosts engine. Now yes, it is new like we were promised, but a lot of people are taking this in a very different mannerism as they should. They're thinking that they're throwing away everything and starting from the ground up. Well, as a game developer, that would almost be impossible to do. The Call of Duty engine was built off of Quake, and at this point in time, there's been so many modifications to make it what it is now, that if you tried to redo it all, well, you would destroy the fame Call of Duty has made. Rather than throwing it all away, what they're doing is adding on to significant portions of the engine that could use upgrades. This is something that I've seen a lot of arguments about in YouTube comments in various communities of sorts and to me it's just all pointless these guys are doing what they were paid to do and in essence to build an engine from the ground up very few developers have been able to do that frostbite one the engine powering battlefield bad company and then the rest of the battlefield series that's the most notable in 2008 that have been built from the ground up since then not many game developers have been all gung-ho about being the creator of a brand new engine from the ground up. Why? Because it's easier and a lot more effective to go off of your roots where you know where your roots come from and where you know your project can work. Now without continuing on with any bias because I don't want to get into my opinion on all of it, well let's just talk about what the game engine itself is going to promise. We're promised that it's going to be the gold standard for the next gen of consoles. As well, the cross generation is supposed to be just as gold standard, something that is going to go leaps and bounds over what we previously had. Now granted, that is a very, very large accusation to bring to the table before we've even seen really anything of what it can do. And at this point in time, we're guaranteed a few things, one of which being the lean feature, one of which being the slide feature, and then another one most resembling Battlefield 3's leap system. Well, we're going to get the leap system for Call of Duty now. With the upgraded bandwidth in the actual engine itself, well, we're supposed to see a lot more intensive features in the actual game itself and by this a lot of which are hinting at the new map impacts. This includes the actual in-game necessity to pay attention to your surroundings, similar to what the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 maps are doing, similar to like Hydro where the water will come and sweep you away. Stuff like this is going to be in every single map as we're promised and at that point in time that is another added great feature that the engine can now handle and it's something that brings a whole new life to the world of Call of Duty. Character customization is now also affected by this. We're promised more graphically intensive aspects to both our characters, the guns, and the gameplay. And whenever we talk about the sub D mechanisms that they're going to be running, well, that is now the ability to make guns even more clear, even more realistic. Infinity Ward lead artist Jake Rowell, well, he defined sub D as the closer you get to it, the more the engine itself tries to maintain any curvature that there may be in the object. This technology is actually something that is extremely important important to a viewer graphically. It allows the clarity of the objects to be just as clear from far away and look just as sleek as well as if you're right on top of the object. This same sub D tech will also be able to give us the graphical clarity we need for our characters as well as environments. The entire graphic fidelity of the game itself should in essence be a lot better from all these upgrades and technology to the sub D system. And if this sub D system works, this could be the new standard for all graphical design. We got a little sneak peek of the graphical technology with Sub-D in the behind the scenes trailer from the Call of Duty Ghosts preview. Well, also there's been now various interviews with various Infinity Ward employees talking about the game itself, the graphic fidelity, and the storyline. Other features that I noted earlier on in the video are the features such as the slide mechanism, the lean mechanism, as well as the leap mechanism. These all will play an important role into the actual gameplay itself that can affect and then also transcribe into very various different types of gameplay modes that every player can pick up. We'll talk about those more in depth in a video later on, but for now, that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed my views and my information that I've given you on the new engine itself. And be sure to stay tuned for more Call of Duty Ghost information. I'm going to be bringing you guys the newest and the best of Call of Duty Ghost information as soon as I get it. So be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are greatly appreciated. I love to hear your comments, so leave a comment down in the comment section below. And be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed any part of the video. Thank you guys once again so much. My name has been Equal Espresso, and I hope you guys are having a great day as always. So till next time, I shall see you later. Peace.